Hey guys, John here. Today I want to share with you one of my favorite patches I've made in Hive 2, and I use this one pretty frequently. It's called Sharpen Your Saw, and it's just a really aggressive, nasty super saw. So here we go. Okay, so let's get into this here. So let's turn off our effects for now. And this one is made up from oscillator two, one, and then the first oscillator. So over here on the right, we have a fresh copy of Hive and we're gonna rebuild this here in real time. So the first thing we need to do is change out the sawtooth to the wavetable. And under the wavetable, where it says click here to browse, then we click this here and go down to simple and then all sorts. Once we're in this window down here at the bottom where it says crossfade, let's change this to switch. That way we can just switch to the individual frames of the wavetable. And then kind of around 60% or so, we're going to see just this saw wave here. And you might be thinking to yourself, okay, well, why did we use a wavetable to play a saw wave when we can do the same thing in our oscillator? So if you actually put these up uh, side by side, the oscillator saw wave and then the wavetable saw wave, you're going to notice that there is a little bit of differences, especially in the top end. So that's kind of the point of using this one here. So with that being said, this one needs nine orders of unison. So let's go ahead and scroll up to nine. It's not going to sound too different because we have to detune it. And by detuning, we're going to 19. So something like this. And then we're also going to be using the sub and we're going to select like OSC and the volume is going to be at 79. So for this sub here, let's take our volume to 79, something kind of like that, and then change it from pulse to like OSC. So we basically have the same sub oscillator that's doing, or the same sub oscillator and the first oscillator are basically the same shape here and we have to route it into the filter we're already kind of getting some of that nasty stuff here so now for the second oscillator let's go ahead and turn this guy on and take a look at what's happening on this one here so for this one we have five orders of unison it's just the basic sawtooth and then the detune is going to be at 24 so let's change it to five voices here the detune at 24 and we should listen to this. And here's kind of an A, B. Kind of gives us just a little bit more. So for our filter here, so we're gonna have our filter all the way up and then our resonance pretty substantially high at 57. So let's go ahead and add that. So we can almost see that like sizzling bacon at the top there. Okay, so for this side here, what we're gonna be doing here is doing some of the amp and mod here. So for the amp, this is going to be 132, 100. So let's go ahead and add that. So one for the attack, 32 for the decay, 100 for the sustain, and then our release is gonna be at 40. So let's go ahead and add that here. Okay, so next thing, we're gonna be doing a little bit of mod envelope. Now, this one is kind of a taste, so we're gonna set it up just in case you do want to use it. So this mod envelope here, the attack's gonna be one, 32, and 33. So let's go ahead and add that. So one, 32, and then 33 for the next one down over here. So the sustain is gonna be 33. And then the release is going to be 41. So let's add this up to 41. And then the mod envelope depth is going to be 22, okay, so 22, something like this. So as you will look here, our cutoff's already at the top. So we're not really moving anything. However, if we bring this down a little bit, we get that little bit of motion. So that's totally up to you if you want to use that or not. Um, both are kind of cool sounding. Okay, so we're pretty much at the same spot here. So now comes the effects to really kind of tie these in here. So let's go to our effects tab, let's turn these on. So the first thing that we're gonna hit it with is a distortion. Now, as I always say, this, this distortion is really nice to really just add some character to your sound. And we're using a little bit of amount. So at 7% here, so let's bring it up to seven.
And the next step is going to be the EQ. So we're just kind of using this to shape the top end here. So if you look at over here, we're not actually doing anything with the low band or the mid band, but the high band, we're raising it by 3.5 deeps. And then that's gonna be a 75, which is by default. So just bring up the high to 3.5. <laughs> And then now we need to crush the crap out of it with a compressor here. So the amount is gonna be 45 and the out is down five. So let's turn this on here. Out is down five and then the amount is 45. So it's already sounding pretty huge, nasty, and aggressive. And then the last thing we have to add here is going to be a delay. So on this one here, it's going to be 1 over 8 for both sides. And on ping pong, so let's go ahead and add that. So 1 over 8, not any dotted notes, just standard 1 over 8. And then we can bring down the low pass and the high pass up just a little bit. The exact values, 82 and 26. So 82 and then 26, something like that. Whoop, 26, okay. And then we can add a little bit more feedback to taste and the diffuse if we want to. That's kind of really up to you for your taste. And then the mix, I think I brought up a little bit more here at 43, so let's bring that up here. Now that's pretty much exactly how that patch is made. Like I said, it's pretty simple, but it just sounds really good and aggressive and you can use it for a lot of different things. And you might be wondering why we didn't add reverb here. And that's generally because I like adding reverb externally because I like keeping things as cohesive as I can, kind of mixing different synthesizers, but they all use the same reverb. Kind of just has a, yeah, like a consistency vibe to it. So we can go ahead and add that over here. So yeah, that was Sharpen Your Saw. Hopefully you have a lot of fun with that. If you didn't feel like you want to build this thing all in real time, there is a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and make something aggressive with this patch. It just calls for it. <laughs> Hell yeah.